This video is for adult collectors. Hi everyone. This is a video review of the Beyblade Burst Pro Series Mirage Fafnir. I'm going to show you the sides of the box. Here it is. As you can see from this barcode, I got it off of Amazon. I did express interest in getting the Mirage Fafnir after I reviewed the Speedstorm version of the Beyblade. Luckily, Amazon still had some copies of this, so I ordered it off them. It's a left spin stamina type. I'm going to show you the bay itself. Here it is. Compared compare it to the Speedstorm one. They seem to be about the same size. Uh, taking this apart, there seem to be uh, two prongs here, just like they're was on Super Hyperion. And, uh, this one, it has these just painted in. They're not real. I did complain that this Beyblade bursts too easily, but here you can see a nice uh, clicking sound. So hopefully this bay will be much more resilient once I put it to the test. It's really cool as I can actually take a Super Hyperion, switch parts with um, Fafnir. So. This is cool. So you can switch the top two layers. I think the only other bay I have which could do that was uh, Variant Lucifer. I think that's what it was called. I'm going to check. Yeah. Variant Lucifer. Which I think is pretty useful because I already got two of these uh, super Hyperions. So I would like to make a whole new bay with one of them. Anyways, let's review the Mira Pro Series Mirage Fafnir the way it is. Let's get out the stadium and we're going to test it out against the same array of Speedstorm bays and see how it does. Alright, so. Here's the uh, base stadium I usually use. I did use a smaller purple uh, Beyblade quad strike stadium in one of my previous videos, but I'd like to go back to this one. This is a left uh, spin pro series Beyblade. So I'd like to test how far it can go in a bigger arena. Let's start it off against. Uh, uh, Helios Blazebringer. This was pretty much a menace to my other Speedstorm bays. So let's see how it works against that one. Oh, wait, they're both left spin. So maybe I'm going to have to adjust this. Well, since it's right spin already, maybe I should try another left spin bay. I mean, a right spin bay. You know what? Never mind. I'll just go with left spin, anyways. Uh, luckily, both can change to left or right. So let's take this in here. Just, let's just test it against the Speedstorm one. I think the Pro Series will. When, because the Speedstorm one bursts too easily, but let's make sure of that. Let's try this again. I think I launched the Speedstorm 
a Fafnir, but two. The way is a bit too tilted, so let's do more straightforward spin. Try to pull the string faster. Yeah, that seems much better. Let's. And bingo, as expected. Speedstar one bursted. Actually, I would like to compare uh, the second layer. Um, the Pro Series one seems to have a much bigger second layer. Uh, seems to huh? seems to be much, a lot more heavier too, just due to the size. And the fact that it seems to use more metal. I think the only thing that's good is that the driver is not clear plastic. But that's probably the only redeeming part about the Speedstorm one. Let's now let's put it against Helios Blazebringer now. So let's put these up. I think this Ooh, looks like that's not actually one. Take out this tip. Put the speed storm one in here. See if we get the same result. I think it's. Like they're swirling. Same thing happened. Actually, let's test it out against Super Hyperion. I'm actually eager to see. This was something I was eager to see since I got Mirage Fafnir out. Super Hyperion. Because these spin in opposite directions, so these would probably clash a lot more. series performance tip back on here Let's see if it fares any better Be a tie again. It was much closer this time. It's using the Pro Series version over the Speedstorm one makes a huge difference. All right, put the Speedstorm tip back in here. Let's test it out against some of the other. Base uh, here. Let's 
so speed storm super high period. I think this will Tie. This would will probably be what would happen if I pitted the Mirage Fafnir against Super Hyperion. I mean, this Speedstorm version of Mirage Fafnir. Uh, if this one didn't burst so easily. So. Let's try it against Command Dragon. I'm oh, sorry, man. Triumph Dragon. I'm getting those two confused. I think they're so the same color. Fafnir on that one. It's true. And against Achilles. Also the Speedstorm version. Uh, let's twist this. How about Demise? Mirage Fafnir definitely fares better against the same Speedstorm base I pitted against the Speedstorm Mirage Fafnir. It doesn't burst as easily. That makes a huge difference when I have it battling against other Speedstorm bays. Alright, let's try against Valtriac then. I'm gonna load this up. I'll be ready to go. Oh, Marsh Fafnir definitely ain't bursting against these Speedstorm Bays. Question is, the other Speedstorm Bays burst when fighting against it. Say, Jet Wyvern. This up. That jet Wyvern's already tilting. Let's I think Fafty is gonna win.
Let's try against World Evo Helios. Uh, looks like they're both a spoon maze. Maybe I should save it till later. Test it out against Jormunter. Uh, I think this was a much smaller base. It's probably <laughs> get knocked down much easier. But let's gonna put that theory to the test. Looks like this would be closer than I thought. Yep, looks like Marge Fafnir would win. And this is just with the same performance tip from the Speedstorm version. I bet it would probably do a lot better if I put the Pro Series one back on. Uh, what's next? Let's try against Bortramoth. So. Get this back on here, and let's get this tight. Fafnir, another close one. All right, let's pit against Regulus now. For Regulus, gonna be last right spin bay I try. This is interesting. It seems like Fafnir is only able to hit the underside of Regulus. Stalemate. Let's try it with the right. The Pro Series. Perf oh, wait. I used the. What's it called? Incidentally, chose to use the Speedstorm one. Let's try the actual uh, uh, Fafnir uh, with the layers from the Pro Series. Let's see. Regulus here. Put the Pro Series performance tip back on here. Let's see how well it does. Then, Yeah, the same. So, just 
pretty interesting. Where are the heights? We get a better explanation for why. I think it's because it wasn't as effective. It was mostly it was mostly the plastic part hitting the metal one. So I guess that's a big reason why. Okay, let's let's test it out against some of the left spin bays. So. Back at the left spin, and then we'll just put this against other left spin bays. Actually, we can just this. Where do we put the better? Put the Speedstorm driver back on here. Just make things more fair. See, and then let's try it out. This is one of the weaker left spin speedstorm bays, but let's as you can see it actually loses. Yeah, I think Fafter is going to win this one. Still spinning pretty strong. the other way uh fafnir it's not even based on this um where this prong is looks like it's not even halfway to bursting so we're gonna reset its uh sort of health oh actually i'm sort of Interested to see if it would fare better if we just use the Pro Series driver. Rings layers are tough, which is why I didn't burst. But I think the if it uses the Pro Series driver it would it would stay together more securely. So let's try it again. Be more careful with that. Try again. Definitely seems like this world evil Helios is no match for Mirage Fafnir. Obviously. Try again, see if, see how well it does. If I could pick this bay up without, the Fafnir without it bursting. the health is pretty much the same. I think it's just the these two top layers sticking together which really help it be more resilient the Speedstorm version. Let's get this stuff out of the way. So 
So all in all, I think the Pro Series version of Mirage Fafnir is 100% better than the Speedstorm one. Not that I think all Speedstorm bays are bad, but this one was, and I'm glad uh, the Pro Series wasn't bad at all. Pro Series 1 looks just as good as the Speedstorm one, if not better. It's definitely much heavier, definitely got more metal to it. Uh, seems to be a bit bigger as well. The only thing the Speedstorm one does right is the tip is this solid plastic, although I th this, uh, this one that's... Uh, Seems to, be bounce, seems to be able to bounce. Uh, this tip... This tip seems to be better somehow. I guess Pro Series is head and shoulders above their Speedstorm counterparts. This bay is definitely more resilient. It's bigger. It's heavier. It's better than Speedstorm 1 in every way possible. Absolutely recommend this version over that one if you're thinking about getting it. Please like this video, and if you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it for my review. Bye.